Swedish massage in today's society is usually what a person thinks of when they hear someone talking about getting a massage. Swedish is one of the gentler styles of massage therapy. Now picture this, a serene environment, the gentle touch of a skilled therapist, and a sense of tranquility enveloping your body. It's the massage you think of for relaxation and stress relief, using long, flowing strokes, kneading, and rhythmic tapping. Sometimes Swedish uses hot towels, stones, or scented oils. The gentle nature of Swedish massage makes it a great option for a person who's completely new to massage therapy and doesn't know how firm they like their pressure to be. This allows you to start soft and ease into that stronger pressure. Swedish massage is the massage style that focuses on long strokes that improve the circulation of blood and lymph fluid in the body. This is why in some more technical circles, they call a Swedish massage a circulatory massage since it improves circulation. Now, deep tissue massage therapy is a slower and much deeper massage therapy style. So this style has a less of a focus on relaxation and enjoyment, and instead it focuses on reducing muscular restrictions to improve your body's posture and the quality of your muscles. Deep tissue massage tends to use less oil than Swedish massage because in order to get deep into those muscles, you need to have less lubrication. This prevents the slipping off of the muscle or the targeted area. The slower nature of a deep tissue massage is meant to find and relax muscles that can be found as deep as three to four layers below other muscles. This means sometimes the massage therapist can start working super close to the bony surface and you want precision working near the bones and that's why this style of massage is a slower style. The reason deep tissue is slow is because it's the only way to access those deep muscles by relaxing those topmost superficial layers and then getting to work on those deeper muscles. Think of it as being in a railroad style apartment. In order to get to the other side of the apartment that's on the opposite side from the entrance door, you're gonna have to walk through all the other rooms to get to the deepest, or in this case, furthest back room. Now here's one thing I think is important to know when using deep tissue massage to correct your posture. When looking to use massage to improve your posture, complete results might not just happen in one 60 or 90 minute session. Sometimes you're gonna need a series of sessions to achieve your goals. When you need multiple massage therapy sessions to achieve a certain outcome, I call that experience a massage therapy treatment plan. And I have a video that can go further into detail talking about it so you can know what it is and how to get results. So right after this video, make sure you tune into that one. A quick explanation of massage treatment series is that it is similar to achieving any other goals, which means you have to be consistent with the right game plan to get results and massage is no different. When you do a few massages in a short amount of time focused on one goal, each session is gonna build on the last one, allowing you to loosen up, break up scar tissue, and restore your range of motion. So if you have to choose between Swedish massage and deep tissue massage to improve your posture, then pick deep tissue massage because that extra pressure is gonna help you reset those imbalanced muscles. Now, let's get into meat about what makes deep tissue and Swedish massage different from one another. First, Swedish massage is great for circulation, while deep tissue is not really made for circulation. The light pressure of Swedish massage helps move the blood and lymph fluid, while deep tissue just doesn't have that capacity. Second, deep tissue massage is a style you want to use to improve your posture, while Swedish massage, it doesn't have the same effect. Third, deep tissue massage will help to release the deeper muscles found close to the bone, while Swedish massage only works on the topmost layers of muscle. Swedish massage strokes are gentler and it tends to use more oil or lotion than deep tissue massage uses. Swedish massage, it's also ideal for a beginner who doesn't know how much pressure they like, while deep tissue massage might be for you after you've learned that you like firm and deep pressure. And now let's talk about the similarities between deep tissue and Swedish massage. First, the way they can be similar is they're both very relaxing. Second, it's very easy for a massage therapist to switch between the two massage therapy styles. Not every time it might be easy for this therapist, but I'd say over 99% of the time, most massage therapists do not have a problem switching it up. Now, the third way they're similar is both could be used therapeutically if you know how to use them. There's an old belief that says a tool is useless in the hands of someone who does not know how to use it. So watch this video and other content on this channel to empower your understanding of how to use massage to your advantage and help improve your life by improving your body. And the fourth way, they're both easy forms of massage therapy to find in any city and have a massage therapist do it on you. But if you're in New York City, you're in luck.
because you can schedule with us. Just go to www.elitehealersportsmassage.com or click a link in the description box below. Now, I'd love to take a moment and talk about how scar tissue can help. And if that sounds good, click here. And if not, I'm betting you're going to love this video right here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.